Good evening, everybody, and uh, thanks for coming. Um, when Janelle and I spoke about putting this event on, uh, obviously, well, one of the things that in my background is I was the original adjudication registrar um, and was heavily involved in setting up the legislation before it became the legislation or the cyber back in 2004. So my long arm reached out to a number of people who uh, I've known for a long period of time um, and uh, I, I pressed them to, uh, to come on this panel and uh, share with you their insight. They are all wonderful and knowledgeable and, and in our publicity surrounding this event, we, uh, we really heavily profiled them. So uh, besides Helix, there are, every person on this panel brings unique skills and abilities and I'd encourage you to look at their profiles individually and see, see, what, um, see what they've got to offer. So, on my immediate right is Warren Fisher. Now Warren was, like I said, involved in me back from the early 2000s, leading up to Bicipa, um, head of, or was heavily involved in uh, IAMA at that stage and obviously IAMA was one of the sources of a lot of the adjudicators, good adjudicators, uh, stepping from adjudication, uh, arbitra arbitration and mediation into adjudication. Chris Taylor on the right. Chris is a barrister, specialises in construction law. Now I'm going to get a plug in here. Also got uh, offices in Brisbane as well as Cairns. <laughs> so so uh, Chris, a uh, very experienced adjudicator again uh, and, uh, and understands that an adjudication to me is a profession. profession. So. Um, Chris is here. Tracy Wood. Tracy uh, is an adjudicator, but also in the last five years, five years or so, was the head of the uh, uh, the, the, the legal services provided the Queen, by the Queensland Master Builders Association. Tracy is a wonderful giving person who will give you her knowledge and time if you've got any questions to relate into the industry. Uh, she was heavily involved in the consultation process in terms of the new security payment regime, or BIFO as we call it. Um, so thanks very much, Tracy. Colin Bond, once again, one of the um, one of those people that were around in the early 2000s. Very experienced adjudicator. I read what over 150 adjudications now, around about in different jurisdictions. Um, so uh, thanks very much, Colin. Chris Lenz, last but not least. When I crossed the border from um, New South Wales into Queensland 25 years ago, one of the first people I met was Chris. Chris was the legal manager for the then Building Services Authority, which is now the QBCC, and I was the compliance manager. So we go back a long way. Uh, enormously knowledgeable person, and once again, enormously giving. Uh, when I rang him up to, <laughs> to ask him, he, said, he just came on the phone and said, what's up? So it was like, <laughs> It's been a while since I've spoken to him, but that's the sort of relationship. So thanks very much, Chris. All these people, if you, if you read their adjudication decisions, you'll understand why they are quality adjudicators. So their insight will be valuable, not just for the adjudicators that are here, but for the, you know, the industry practitioners that are here, the, the superintendents, the, the, the project managers, the builders, the subbies. Yeah, yeah, the insight that they've got in terms of how disputes are resolved through adjudication uh, is, is tremendous. So thanks very much everybody for making yourself available.